Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the end of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. Yes, we're a little bit behind on those readings, we apologize. We have been just extremely busy, it's been hectic and crazy. Um, anyways, let's get right into your reading Gemini. We've shuffled, now let's cut, let's see what spirit has for you guys for the remaining of February, the beginning of March in regards to love and romance, okay? All right, let's get into your reading. All right, your first card here is pay attention to the red flags. The signs are coming or cautioning you. Okay, so you may be experiencing a feeling of uncertainty for some of you guys. It could be in regards to your partner. For others of you, it could be in regards to the relationship itself. Um, I do see a lot of doubt or fear. Uh, this could be you or this could be your partner feeling this way as it is a general reading. Now your next card here is soulmate. Okay. And your second card is attraction. Okay. So what they're telling me here is that for some of you guys, uh, those of you guys that have been in a long-term committed relationship, perhaps there was a lot of doubts or Fear of losing the relationship, perhaps challenges, you know, with life, uh, challenges with uh, people around the relationship or around your partner uh, that were not or perhaps are not a good influence. I feel that for some of you guys, it could even be like uh, family members getting involved. Um, but right at the center, you do have soulmate. And this is speaking, uh, yes, this is your soulmate. So for those of you guys that have been in a very long-term relationship, meaning if you've been in a relationship for the past two years or longer than that, uh, what they're telling you here is when they say pay attention to the red flags, it indicates to me, uh, those that have been in a long-term relationship, it, it's signifying that perhaps you've in the past stepped out of the relationship. Now, this is a general reading, so it could be you or your partner uh, in the past or there was doubts behind that or in regards to that. Now, right at the center, they're speaking about a soulmate connection. So I feel that the person that you're currently with or the person you have been with for quite a while uh, shares a soul type of connection with you. Uh, this could be a person that just gets you, a person that there is no need to express your emotions or your feelings towards them or what you're going through when you're having a bad day. They understand that or they know that you're having a bad day that type of connection if that is currently the relationship or your partner um how it's been in the past i feel that you guys have been challenged uh there's been trials and tur uh, turbulations in regards to your relationship and i feel that perhaps in the past there was fear of losing the relationship or fear of your partner deciding to end it or walking away from the relationship but what they're saying is that uh, the, the the relationship itself is strengthened. Uh, I think that these challenges have strengthened the partnership. And I think that you guys definitely do share a deep bond, a deep connection. Now, attraction is something that is very important. And um, what they're saying is you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. Um, but th the greater or the grander message here with attraction is Again, it is very important uh, to keep and maintain the relationship passionate. Um, it's not only the partner's job to do so. Uh, it's also, you know, it takes two to tangle. And what they're saying here is that, again, uh, making time, making time to connect as a partnership, as a uh, husband and wife, as a girlfriend and boyfriend, as a girlfriend and girlfriend or as a gr boyfriend or boyfriend, what they're saying is that it's very important to maintain the, the love, the passion uh, and attraction or physical attraction is very important. Uh, perhaps for some of you guys, there may be some type of insecurities here, uh, whether it be you or whether it be your partner, perhaps feeling that you're not as attracted to them as you once were, or it could be you feeling like, um, like you're not or perhaps your partner's not as interested in you as they once were. I do see for some of you guys wanting to change up some type of regimen, some type of diet, 
uh, they are telling me that there is some type of insecurity um, issue here that uh, you or your partner may be dealing with. But again, like I said, I think that there is a deep connection here. I think that if you guys have been tested and you've been feeling like there is a possibility of the relationship coming to an end, what they're saying is no, uh, we just need to put more effort and more energy in maintaining that bond and that connection and understanding that sexual needs and sexual desires are part of a partnership and very important to keep going okay so i hope that makes sense now let me pull one more card just for clarification and they have <clears throat> give your relationship a chance work on your partnership okay so there is definitely some type of tension here i feel that for some of you guys again like i said you may have been experiencing like uh, issues in the past and it's something that you're finally being able to overcome or finally even yourself, Gemini, coming into the understanding that yes, this is the person I love and I'm going to try the best I can to put effort in fixing the relationship and I do see it moving in a positive aspect. Now, for those of you guys that are currently single, what they're telling you here is do not settle for people that are fey weather, people that are hot and cold if you're just getting to know someone and they're just giving you bad vibes or giving you uh, the understanding that this is not a person you can rely on. Do not waste your time. Uh, a soulmate type of connection is coming through. Um, now, this is is uh, this is on the unfolding. Uh, so I feel that for some of you guys, you may still not know uh, who this soulmate they're speaking about. Uh, which could lead up to the end of February, the beginning of March, uh, when this connection is starts to build or when this person steps forward in your life. So again, don't settle. If you're currently going on, you know, dating someone casually, there's nothing like um, girlfriend, boyfriend type of thing, and you're just getting to know them, pay attention. People will often show you who they are off the bat. Um, unless they have double intentions and there's a reason why they're wanting to be in a relationship with you, then they'll portray something else. But inevitably people, you know, we're humans and humans are creatures of habit. So the truth, who they are truly will ultimately show. It's about paying attention, not to only words and what they promise, but that do they follow through. And if you're currently dealing with someone that's flimsy, someone that is coming and going, someone that is not being completely honest with you, again, what they're telling you is don't settle. The person that is meant for you will come through. Um, and when that happens, you will know. You will know because the attraction will be off the charts. There's going to be this magnetic pull pulling you guys towards each other and there will be no denying uh, this connection. So again, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.